Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, March 23rd, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. Hmm? Notice the orbs behind me. That is Eric and uh, Lars. One of my ancestors. Okay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node in Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you guys for the next day. I hope you are staying safe and happy and having some fun, some peace. All right, I'm going to get some cards here. I'm sorry, I'm just listening <laughs> for you, Virgos. And then I am going to get a message from somebody here. Before we begin, what do you have for Virgo? Queen of Wands. Sorry, Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, and subscriptions. Excuse me. Okay. Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles. And Knight of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Virgo. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. A lot of court cards here. Let me get this message before we begin, Virgo. <sighs> Let go of the old ways of doing things, Virgo. You're you're going to need to create a new system. <laughs> okay. They're wanting to get you guys ready for this now because they said that you need the most uh, heads up time as far as all the signs are concerned because you like to be structured. You like to be on time. You like to, you, you like cleanliness. You like orderliness. So it's like, they're wanting to let you know that things are about to change and your life as you know it is going to need to be restructured. So try to figure this out now. Like as the days continue, they're saying figure out something every day and keep at it because to be bombarded with this all at once will not go over well for you, Virgo. That's like overload. Okay, that's overload. Okay. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. You got the King of Wands over the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Huh. I feel like this Knight of Wands is coming towards you, Virgo. But that this Knight, with this Knight, there is not even reciprocity going on. Not in the least. I feel this person is in and out of your life. Interesting. I feel this Knight of Wands is also the King of Wands, but that it's almost as if this dude or doodad is living a double life. Because this King of Wands is looking right at the Queen of Cups. So this King of Wands, slash Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy. I feel like they're in a relationship. It could even be a marriage for some. With a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. And that every once in a while they come to you. 
to get something from you, but they're not giving. They're not giving anything really but passion, but sex. They're also um, defensive too. It's like they're projecting onto you. Clarify this nine of uh, wands. I want to clarify this first. Clarify this nine of wands, please. Ten of pentacles. Yeah, they're defensive because they're protecting what they have um, that you don't know about, which is a family. Building of a family. Building of a legacy. So they're not going to let you in. There is, I'm going to tell you right now, Virgo, there is no possibility for a future with this person outside of just a fling. If that's okay with you, then that's okay with you. This truth will be emerged. This, this truth will emerge. Sorry. This truth will emerge. Whether that's you coming to this clarity or this person just outright saying it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ten of Cups and the Moon card. This is what's hidden. This family that they have. Okay. And also, they were giving you the illusion that, the, that they wanted happiness with you. That they wanted emotional fulfillment with you. That you were their emotional fulfillment. When it was really bullshit. I don't think this Queen of Cups has any idea about you. Tell me about this King of Wands. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. They're going to leave you abandoned, feeling out in the cold. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups. Walking away time and time again. That's not even one time. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Um, Knight of Swords. Yeah, they rush back to this Queen of Cups. Seven of Wands. There's that defensiveness. Protecting what they have. Protecting this family. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Wands and Six of Pentacles. Yep, Nine of Swords. This keeps you anxious, fearful, keeps you up at night. It's not even fucking worth it, really. There's so much darkness in, in this that I'm feeling. Manipulation. It's bullshit. It's pissing me off. Okay, is there anybody else besides this individual coming into Virgo's life? Nine of Pentacles, that's you. Queen of Wands. What these two cards are telling me is that you're going to separate yourself from this individual and you are going to find your way all by yourself. You're going to be independent, autonomous. You're going to feel good about your money. You're going to be going for your passion. You're going to be looking hella hot, Virgo. You are going to be the shit. The Queen of Wands is the mistress of the deck. But you're not going to be this Knight of Wands mistress anymore. Mm -mm. You're going to be on the hunt. You're going to be on the hunt, Virgo. You could also be involved in the magical arts. So, lovers, lovers, you're going to have many options. Seven of Cups. But you have to let this go. Or these options will not appear to you, Virgo. So, Advice for Virgos, but you're going to have many. Many eyes are going to be on you. Knight of Pentacles. Take things slow. Take things slow. When you walk away from this individual, okay, take it one step at a time, okay? That's why, that's why the message in the beginning, things are about to change your structure of life will be transforming, will be different. So start implementing some of those steps now, Virgo. Just go slow because even though the Knight of Pentacles may take forever, the Knight of Pentacles always makes it to their destination. And it's always a destination that flourishes, that grows. 
one more card. I know, always one more. Five of Swords. Just put down your swords, walk away. It's no use fighting. It's not even it's not even worth your energy. Put that energy into yourself. The sooner that you do that, the so sooner these options come to light. All right, Virgo. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You'll see this truth soon. Just keep it moving. Okay? Little changes a day at a time, Virgo. You'll get there. All right. I hope you resonated with that reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to what you need to know and your questions. Information is in the description box below. Have yourself a fantastic evening or day or afternoon, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.